Right, Jeff, great to have you here today. Would you pick up Illinois Toolworks? It's up 5% this week. Well, Kelly, here's an industrial name. We beat the drum a lot on industrials. Illinois Tool Works, located about 15 minutes away from the office here in Chicago. This is a name for the first time, to your point, is back above its 50-day moving average. All the names we're going to talk about today are back above the 50-day moving average. But here's a name that beat Q1 earnings by about 2% estimates. We also saw the sales beat by about 5%. But I think if you look at this name, maybe a comparable is John Deere. With the Ford P of 22, it's a little more expensive than John Deere. But yes, only being out 15% year to date, I think this industrial name has the ability to move. It has come really close to its 52-week low, but I'm adding to a position here. I like ITW. This, the, the, your picks here go with the idea that we heard uh, uh, on Scott's program. You've got to change your playbook now. You can't go with the old, uh, the old winners. So your second one here is Borg Warner. I've not heard anybody out here over the past decade say, get me some Borg Warner now. That's what I want. And get me some Illinois tool. That's what I want. No doubt about it. And we've talked about this new playbook, Ty, for quite some time. We had to have this grappling, this wrestling match between growth and value. But all of a sudden, boring names came back in vogue. So we've actually owned Honeywell. So I don't owe this name yet. I'm looking at it. It's being considered on our list. But if you look at, you know, this is the leading auto supplier. So certainly, we've seen a lot of car market inflation. We're looking for that to abate. But I think if you look, really dive into Borg Warner, which is not a name you talk about a lot, right? This is a $9 billion market cap name. Very small market cap, but at the end of the day, they're going into EV. They're doing a couple things. So, yes, it gets interesting. I'm not buying yet. Again, I've owned Honeywell instead, which is about $132 billion in market cap. But, yes, there's reason to kind of dig into a consumer cyclical name like Borg Warner. Yeah, it's the stuff you haven't heard of. Uh, it's that rotation from That's what right. you know to what you don't know. Xylem, a water tech name. You like it? I do. This is actually a Central 40 name. We've owned this for a couple of years. This is, you know, one of the leaders. But when you talk about breaking technicals, go back to December, Kelly, when it broke its 50-day moving average. And I think when you talk about water, when you talk about being the global leader in water technology, this is a name that you want to know. This is a critical name. You know, they're in 150 countries with about 16,000 employees worldwide. So this makes a ton of sense to add here. But I think you really have to understand, in a week like this, Kelly, you can't flinch. I go back to my Lou Holtz days. You can't flinch. You have to realize where there's opportunity. In a week like this, all these names, yes, they are up, but they're still down on the year. So this is where you can be selective. This is where you're going to decipher what is going to make sense. And these are the type of names, two industrials and one consumer cyclical, that makes sense moving forward as volatility is by no means going to abate anytime soon. No, so you're basically saying no matter which way the overall markets are going, you, you, you can be comfortable with uh, these picks. That's right. You have to understand that these are the market capitalization, much smaller than some of the names we talk a lot about, the Amazon and Apples. But at the end of the day, this is 2022. This is a different year. You have to understand sector exposure, stock exposure. And when you look at the 52-week lows on some of these names that we don't really talk a lot about here on CNBC, these are some of the names that offer opportunity if we do see a little bit of a snack back. Because if you remember the last couple of years, certainly it's been volatility, Kelly, but the biggest risk to the marketplace is not being invested. All right, sir. Thank you very much. Have a great weekend, Jeff. Jeff Kilberg. Shepard Smith here. Thanks for watching CNBC on YouTube.